can I ask a question before we even go through it? Can you tell me, did you, you use PFF? I did. Can you tell me what overall grade PFF gave you when you were done with it? Uh, B, but I forgot. Oh, to do okay. The screen right. I forgot to do the screenshot. It, 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 it was, I was going along good. You'll see. No, I, I take it back. I got to see. It was a C plus. They liked my draft, <laughs> but I did something they, I did something they really did not like. Um, well, you'll see. I, I feel like, uh, our producer here is already given it, a, given away everything by showing which picks you took, uh, because well, no, he has not. He has not. It's a five one oh, match. Yes, it should have been oh. Matt Ryan. Oh, it should have been seven picks. Oh, 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 six oh, oh, well, maybe Jeff he's given a little bit of he's given a little bit of tease, but <laughs> yes, Jeff Duncan is in fact still a hoe. He is a Jeff Duncan. Damn, Archimedes is twenty eight to, to free donation. Thanks, man. Oh, oh that's, what, I, that's what I forgot. Andrew isn't here. We always make the most money when Andrew is not here. That's right. And, and Andrew gets the tradition. Yeah, y'all, we got to, where is everybody? Where's Hatchet John? Where's all of our big That's guys? Right. Are, where's all of our white whales? We, we got to get them in here. Uh, white whales. We need the big guns in here. Me and, well, Dave, Dave, me and I don't want to speak for Dave, but I will. Me and Dave were never happier than the show that it was just me and Dave, and I was drinking from the handle of Jack Daniel's Honey and we did like eight hundred dollars in donations. Me and Dave have never felt closer. <laughs> We've never been happier than when we did that. So if we could do that again tonight, it would be great. It's um, very true. So let's get back to the mock draft. Uh, pick fourteen, Thomas. Throw throw the names up who who are available at fourteen. Now, Kevin. For me, this was really interesting because it worked out really well and complicated for the Saints in that Olu Fashanu, tackle is there. Fashanu. Brock Bowers, Saints Twitter darling is there. Latu Lato, defensive end is there. I'm sure that's not right. It is. And. Wow. <laughs> I had a, and I had a wild card in there, Kevin. Uh. White Knight, White Lightning, aka White Cornerback, Cooper White Dijon. Knight. Cooper Dijon, he's it's, there. It's Dijon. Dijon, he's there, and he's he's ranked nine on the PFF. I would say Dijon. If he if he says Dijon, I think he's pronouncing it wrong. Dijon yeah. sounds right. Um, Hang on, I'm gonna find. So out. he's ranked really a white, a white <laughs> cornerback. He's white. He's Holy he's a white shit. he's a white corner, and and like a lot of the draft analysts is like he's gonna be a safety, but like. I listen to like just because Kumani, he's, yeah, like, fucking he's, he's white. Not he's allowed, racist. He's not racism. Like, racism. They're moving that boy to safety. Racist. I never Shit even thought about that. But <laughs> I, I, I can't a name a white cornerback. Matt Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dave, were yes. you thinking of Alex Jenkins, the day elf in England? It. That's right. Yes. Nailed it. That's who. It's exactly oh, who it was. Thank you. Rich. Thank you. I see. I knew we would Thanks figure for it out. Twenty buckaroos. So it's, I mean, it's racism. Is what it is. They want to move that that white dude. They want <laughs> to move. They want to move him to safety. They're like, you're 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 white dude. You can't play corner. Get you to safety. It's racism. Oh, he can play corner. I saw him dunk a basketball on YouTube. But here's my. This is this is interesting to me, Kevin. And th and this is what I want to talk about. It is, is Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene says who. So, I just this, listened to. I just. You want to? Are you? Are you going to disagree with Mina Kimes? <laughs> ESPN's Mina Kimes. I might. Yes. Yeah, uh, Dave. So Dave, that's a hell of a hill to die on, brother. Cut that bitch so, off. This Thank is you. this is Louisiana. We're going to pronounce it Dijon. So, um, so Kevin, here's, here's my question. You're our mock draft expert. You run fifty a week. I think you said you do. Um, here's my question to you, and this is why I like Dejean on there. Dejean. That's like saying New Orleans. Like, it hurts my ears. <laughs> it kind of does. It it's does. got to be Dejean. I'm saying Dejean, and that's you it. You don't like that's, when people say you. New Orleans? Um, no. So here, that's in, but, here, but here's my question, Kevin. All right. What is a guy that, in the mock drafts, that you would be really surprised that he would be there at 14 and it's a two-part question. Who's a guy that could fall to 14 that would either make the Saints not take an offensive tackle, because we know they're desperate at offensive tackle, <laughs> or who's a guy 
that other teams would be burning up Mickey Loomis's phone to try to trade up for and offer him deals that me and you know he would reject. Who's a, I think DeGene might be that guy. Now you're saying DeGene. You I, I'm just, getting, now I'm, you, you confused. You confused me, Dave. I'm all over the place. You confused you just, me. I'm Dijon, DeGene. I'm, I don't know what you're doing. sticking with Dijon. Dijon, Dijon mustard. I'm sick. Dijon. Dijon. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna call him uh, Grey Poupon. Grey Poupon. But <laughs> Kevin, back to my question: Who is a guy that the Saints would? He would be so shocking that he would fall that they'd be like, "Screw it, we're not taking a tackle. We're taking this guy." Or a team would want to trade up to get him because they'd be shocked that he fell as well. Uh, Brock Bowers would be the number one. Like, okay, so for starters, it's not going to be any of the quarterbacks. Um, yeah, they're not falling. Th- th- none of them are going to fall. Uh, I-, I know people like to sort mm. of do this, like, fake wish fulfillment where they sort of cut their own legs out on their own hope and dream. They want Jaden Daniels to drop to 14, but they joke that all oh, the Saints would be too stupid to take him anyway, even if he did fall to 14. He's not falling to 14. Now, granted, if Jaden Daniels fell to 14, I am throwing my phone away and (laughs) and staying off social media for a good 72 hours because Saints Twitter will eat itself alive regardless of what the decision would be. So none of the quarterbacks are going to fall. Brock Bowers is is one of them. Uh, Jerzon Newton and Cooper DeGene and and, uh, Kenyon Mitchell. Like th- those are the two uh, corners, so you know I could see somebody like they could feasibly draft all four of those guys. Like you heard Da say they want a pass catcher. Brock yeah. Bowers is the highest rated tight end in the draft. They would go bananas for him. Uh, and oh, that's an interception! And, and Matt Ryan. To, uh, oh, to Minxy getting cured off the sugars. Then who had gone for 28 to 3, tying Archmage for the MVP? We are almost there, guys. Sam. Thank you. Who that gone for? When are we going to play? When are you coming in town? Dave, these four guys. Yes. Olu Fashanu. That's who you would want? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right, Thomas, give us the pick. All right. The, com- the it pick wasn't is available in, in mine. The commissioner has the pick, guys. We'll be 14th pick in the 2024 <laughs> NFL Draft. And you will have Saint Select. Olu Fashanu. Good job. Offensive tackle from Penn State. So since your overall grade was a B, and I think this was a great pick, I'm a little worried that uh, the, rest the rest of your draft is a disaster. And that yeah. Comes to a yeah. Uh, which is... Which is why, which is why I wanted to ask at the start uh, what your overall grade was. It's and insane. then also, I did have a question too. What were the settings? Did, what did you set your settings to? I set, uh, I set it. I didn't. I set the randomness low, but I, I set um, team needs pretty high. Okay, so. I, I moved. I moved mine up a little bit too. Yeah. From so, and what's the, and then they have another category too. They have team, team needs. needs and they then, have the two. Yeah, I have. I I keep randomness. Yeah. One from the bottom. I yeah. keep the top two options. One from the yeah. top, and then the third option I just leave alone. I, okay. I think that's exactly what I did. So that's good. But we should have all agreed on that before we yeah. did this. I like well, Fashanu. But I think well, we, we, we can have Juge do that too. Uh. Buttery says, I set my randomness to max level. Uh, oh, my God. Fashano, he, like, he, he, like, to me, he just feels like a safe pick, Dave. He went faux to show. Penn... He's a faux show new player. <laughs> yeah. faux he, show he, new. Faux show went new to player. Penn State, uh, played a lot. Like, he's, he's the opposite of Trevor Penning, where it's all just, oh, he's potential, and he tackled hey, some dudes like at the Penning, too. I don't, don't want to remind you, man. Did you I? Picked... Yeah, you picked burn. Penning yeah. in your mock draft. <laughs> Last year, burn the tape. I don't remember that. Burn the tape. Burn the tape. Burn the you tape. You were hyped for Penning. So, well, I'm sure, like, the day after we draft this guy, we're going to find out that about, like, some injury that nobody yeah. discussed. Uh, he's got, like, a, he's got, like spinal no stenosis or some shit. Yeah, well, there's, yeah. No, there's no cartilage in his left knee. 
Yeah. So he can't he can't feel his toes or something. He has only <laughs> two toes in each. So right. he's pick, got a heart condition. He's only he can only play three years and then he's done. So pick his 45. second name is Furley. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Pick forty five was really interesting. Thomas, put the names up that were available. Um, so this one, Dave was or Dave was really hard for me. I mean, because the guy's name is F. Cool. The guy's name is Kool Aid. I can't mess it up. <laughs> His name is Kool Aid. Um, Kool Aid McKinstry. Cool. Uh, I mean, like, oh my God. like it took. What is is that Jesus. better than Smoke Monday? I don't know, but what's just Kool Aid? What's is the that... conversation? What's the conversation in the hospital when Smoke the kids born? The parents and they're like discussing. Yeah, but is this potential Kool-Aid? names? Uh, I mean, like, was Sunny Delight an option? Kevin, go uh, to Wikipedia. Is I that think his that's real name? his nickname. That's his nickname. No, I that's think. his Kool-Aid. nickname. What's his but, real name? But everyone oh, calls God. him Kool Aid. Thank God. Uh, Kool Aid. Jesus. Uh, I feel Kool-Aid. like so. Kool Aid. Uh, his real name is Jaquincy. I feel like he's either. I think he's either going to the Hall of Fame, Dave, or he's going to be out the league in two years. Like, there's no, there's no middle ground if your name is Kool Aid. Like, we're either going to be like we're going to. He's going to. They're going to build monuments to him. He's going to be in the Ring of Honor, or in two years we're going to be like, I. They drafted a guy named Kool Aid, and they thought that was a good idea. I see. I think. I think it's. I think it can only go the latter route. I. I I just do not see somebody named Kool Aid getting inducted into the. the Hall of Fame. I don't know. I don't see. This, like, this what's, what's, the, what's the craziest? What's the craziest nickname of a player that's in the, like that's that's in the Hall of Fame? But like, not just like a, a random nickname that they're sometimes called. Like somebody who's like always called that name. Like refrigerator. Yeah. Like I guess well, refrigerator. no refrigerator wasn't in the Hall of Fame. He's not in the Hall of Fame. No. Yeah. Well, there you it's go. A great question. Maybe that this was hard. That answers, I, that answers my question. I. This Kool-Aid's was a bust. I if, you're a, that's a bust. I'm glad Andrew's not here because he would rip me to shreds. Because I watched yeah, I watched Darius Robinson highlights on YouTube. His nickname is Chop, by the way, and his highlights. No, no, no. Chop crazy. Robinson plays for Penn State. So no, I thought that I, I'm totally no, with you. no. That's was I that's watching the guy with the Penn State highlights? Uh oh. Um. No, the, but the Darius Robinson. And then what, I, you want to draft somebody named Morgus? And you could have Morgus no, I and want, Chop. I want so close. Chopsley. Yeah, so close. I was watching the Darius Roberts Island from Missouri, and it was really good. But, but the one thing is, Kevin, I forgot about Raz, and Thomas put it up there, and it's 7.78. Um, Brandon Fisk. Braden. Braden. Bra- Braden. Mm-hmm. Braden Fisk. He is a fan Twitter. Braden, Braden is the millennial version of uh, Brandon. Braden Fisk. <laughs> Saints Twitter loves him. He's 9'9 nine, nine Rass. Um, Patrick Again. Paul apparently has the wingspan of a pterodactyl. Um, <laughs> I, I read that on his... On his uh, I read that on his... Uh, Kevin, look up wingspan of an average male pterodactyl. So, well, also, it should be Braden... F- <laughs> Good Lord, it should be Braden Fisky with an E at the end. And I don't know what logo that is next to Braden Fisk. But it ain't Florida played, State. But he went to Florida State, and that looks like a big W right there. It looks like a W and a dinosaur? Yeah. What logo? And, good thing I couldn't, good thing and, I couldn't go. Hey, he and, went to Western Thomas. Michigan for three years, guys. Three years. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, also, more also, years in Western Darius, Michigan than Florida State. I, Come on, let me, man. Let me tell you something, Thomas. Thomas, these, the spelling, the spelling yeah, and, the, and, the, and the graphics better be... Hey, I will show them time. That's your week. fault, man. That's your fault. In- That's no, a I'm new day. I'm saying now man. you have a no. I'm saying now you have a full week, so they better be impeccable next week for the show. Oh, they had, will. Yeah, you. I don't want to see any spelling hey, errors. Hey, who okay? said your mock draft is next week? By the way, who said your mock draft is next week? <laughs> you, you, missed your ch- you, you missed need. your chance, man. You missed your if chance. You need, Come I'm dri- on. Buttered says I'm driving. Make sure you get it right. That's Butteridge says I'm driving him to drink. Butteridge just wait. Um, I will give I'll give people a little maybe a a, a hint or I'll I'll, I'll okie doke you. But I, I Ke- uh, Kevin, I have a strong urge to draft two tackles. Like I was like, he's got the wingspan of a pterodactyl. Get the left tackle. Get the right tackle. Boom, we're set at tackle. We don't have to worry about. Don't, we don't, don't have to worry about that idea, Ralph. I do, Ralph. I don't hate that idea. I don't think we don't that- have to worry about penning. Uh, 
So, according to Encyclopedia Britannica, the wingspan of a pterodactyl range from 2 to 11 <laughs> meters. <laughs> which, is anywhere, which is anywhere from 6.5 to 36 feet. That's Okay, so let's average that out. So, 18, let's call it 18 feet. Dave, the one thing about Patrick Paul, though, he's from University of Houston, and they drafted Peyton Turner from U University of Houston, and he's terrible and hurt. Um, so do we, like, I'm, I'm kind of scared to draft another guy from UH. Have the Saints ever had a good player from UH in their history? If this was me, I would take Braden Fisk. Well, it's not. Thomas, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't spoil it, man. Don't spoil it, Ralph. Well, just release it. Go ahead. Man. With the 45th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select... Oh my gosh. Darius Robinson, defensive yeah, I, tackle I, from Missouri. I just, I just realized that Thomas is saying New Orleans. He, yeah. He's an edge. I said it once. He's an edge. He's <laughs> an edge. He's an edge. He's an edge. Don't, don't, don't li listen to Thomas. But even if he was a defensive tackle, the Saints needed a defensive tackle. That wouldn't be a bad I pick. I knew it was going to piss you off, Dave. That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though, know, Kevin. I, I, I felt like. They got to get an edge because, yeah, because you know, you got Chase Young, neck issues, Cam Jordan's old as hell. Um, you know, we, you know, we love Andrew's UDFA son, Granderson, but Peyton Turner, he's not, you can't count on him. I, for nothing. I know, but I just, I just have PTSD when it comes to drafting defensive linemen in, uh, in the second round. Foster's yeah, yeah. still giving you the shakes. Well, just, just, just first or second round. Peyton Turner, yeah. Davenport, this guy. I I, I don't know. I, this is, <laughs> I mean, I you, like get, it. you, I, it, it, are, you feel like we're we're throwing good money after bad, Dave? Is that what? You're... I just I, I'm not saying I don't know anything. I, I'll be honest with you. Like I don't know anything about Darius Robinson. Like maybe he's great. I just feel like we it, just historically we have done a very poor job of drafting defensive ends yeah. uh, and trying to get. Uh, that elite pass rusher, rusher, and and not only that, but we have we have given up additional assets to get them. Marcus Davenport. Oh Jesus, uh, Butteridge, 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 give me the list. No. Of, give me the list of Saints players no, that they've drafted no. from Houston. Please, it'll no, be sad. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. um, so now, so, no, I, that's the that's the only reason I don't like this pick. And also, you had a nine, you had a perfect Raz guy, and you passed. I, and I, well, I, I like you know. We need help at, on the offensive line. We need Derek, a lot of help on the offensive line. And if you want Derek Carr to be better, you, uh, honestly, there's one way to uh, to get Derek Carr better, and that's give him time. You saw what happens when he doesn't have time. The, 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 the most important thing for Derek Carr last season that we saw was the difference uh, between when he had time and when he didn't have time. And Derek Carr, he needs time. He's not the quarterback that's going to scramble and get more time. Uh, he panics. He needs time. I I'm all for. Let's let's go offensive line heavy. Let's let's do it. All right. Well, let's go, um, like, let's go like Big Ten Iowa. Let's do Kevin. I may Iowa of the NFC South. May, Kevin, I may have to res resign from the Trade Down Association. Thomas um, announced the uh, the reason. Should I hit the breaking news, Siren? Yeah, or hit something? the breaking news. So, Kevin, this is where the draft goes off the rails. Okay. Uh, I made a trade with the Texans. I traded the Saints' fifth round pick, 150, their fifth round, 168, and their 2025 third uh. for the Texans' huh. third round pick. Pick number eighty-eight. Um, yeah, I, I, I did it. Uh, am I banned? You can just tell me. Am, am I, am I off the board? Am I banned from the building of the Trade Downs Association for this? Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's no the deliberations. Will be short. Yeah. Uh, but Jason Champagne yeah. said it. It is Saintsy. I tried to do this draft, Dave, not as I would do it because no one cares. I tried to do this draft 
as I think the Saints are going to do this draft. And the Saints are going to trade up. They are not yeah, going to yeah. make all these picks in the fifth round. It's not happening. Very, this is all very believable. You're banned from the uh, Trade Down Association building, but uh, you're welcome with open arms at Airline Drive, um, <laughs> where this is... Uh, this is uh, always welcomed. Uh, no, I, I I agree. And, you know, no spoilers, but I at least attempted a trade-up in my mock draft uh, because, again, like you, I feel like it's it's, 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 it's inevitable. Death tax is in the Saints trading up, baby. So so here is... Like Thanos. Th- Thomas, put the, put the players that are, that are up, that are potential at 88. So... Kevin, we got our boy, Theo Johnson. Well, now, hold on. My my question, though, is, you know, when the Saints trade up, they trade up because they always have a specific player. Did you trade up because of these four guys, you really wanted one of these guys, or did you just trade up because you were like, "Mm, feels like this is right just where the Saints are going to be? Did you have somebody in mind? No, I have somebody in mind. Um, So we got – but, Dave, we have a lot of great options here. And Kevin, because you got Theo Johnson, me and you's draft darling, tight end from Penn State, almost a perfect right. Raz. Right. Uh, Jalen Polk, uh, wide receiver, Washington. Washington's pass offense was amazing. He could plug right in, wide receiver issue we were talking about earlier. Done. And then we got a guy, he, Dave, is almost the perfect pick. Rook <laughs> or whore, Horo, a name I can't pronounce. I, and, I don't know. Is that correct, Kevin? Is that correct? And oh, no, he played oh, no. at Clemson. The Saints just drafted a defensive oh, tackle oh, oh, oh. from Clemson, and it worked out great. So they could do it again. So, so of these of these guys, Kevin, I know you're 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 infuriated that I traded up, but if if which one <laughs> of these guys do you like the best? So okay, well, so here's the issue here. Theo Johnson typically goes in the 150 range right. in these mock drafts that I see. Tight end, 9.95 mm-hmm. RAS. Um, now, Sexy. I think he is going to go a lot higher than, mm-hmm. than the 150s. So it's Now, wait a minute. Hard. Wait a minute. Is he, do all these other guys, Christian Jones, Jalen Polk, Ruke, are they all in the 85 to 90 range? Uh, yeah, they're all. They are. Yeah. So, so, so this is like house hunters when they when they go to the three houses and the one that's not furnished, that's the house that they uh, choose. Obviously, Theo Johnson is on this list and out of place uh, because Ralph, this, that's who Ralph is taking. Otherwise, he wouldn't be on this list. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you'll see. Here's the thing. I, I, I. I vehemently protest. I don't think Christian Jones is Raz is correct. Actually, or 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 Horro is uh, PFF ranked fifty four. Um, let me see who is this other fellow? Uh, Polk, uh, and then Christian Jones. Some people always fall. I'm just saying. Yeah. Christian Jones, his PFF uh, rank is totally one thirty. Totally realistic scenario, guys. Yeah, and then Polk. Polk's PFF ranking is 59, so Ralph is all over the damn map here at yeah. 88, so it's impossible <laughs> to tell. It's, it's impossible, impossible to tell what he wants, although that's the point. Dave's, Dave's best the point, mystery. though, is Theo Johnson is the, is the extreme the outlier. Major outlier, right. Yeah. Well, I see Theo Johnson. He's going about pick 100. I saw an ESPN another mock, so it's not impossible. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Dave. Um... I, I, it's like my, uh, borderline alcoholism. Uh, I have this strong urge to make a poor decision here. Thomas, tell the people what it is. (laughs) Roger that. With the 88th pick in the 2024 NFL draft, the New Orleans Saints select Christian Jones. Offensive what? tackle. Whole, I went tackle, Texas. tackle. I couldn't help myself. All right. I like it. I did this part. I don't think that Ray. I don't agree with that Six, Ray. 6, 321 pounds. Yeah. Right. You got your right tackle now. And the Saints went to the Texas Pro Day. 
They were loving the defensive linemen. They were loving the offensive linemen, the tight end. Like they hole. were liking them all. I just like... Is he number 70 here? In the, yeah, the yes, he is your right tackle. Looked like he was holding on that last play. But that's only <laughs> fit right in with the same. Fit, he's, a, he's a born saint then. I mean, it looks um, like he's holding there too. What is going on? He's like, oh. Well, look, I mean, we, we can get him. We can get him 72 for for the team jersey uh, pretty easily. He can fit in the uh, illustrious. Uh, so I'm going on record right now. Yeah, if he but if if this guy becomes the new Trevor Penalty, uh, I called it. No, 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 Wayne Gandy. Mm. Christian Penalty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I know, Kevin, you're disgusted with my trade-up. I'm not, like, disgusted, disgusted. You feel like I could have waited. Yeah. He's, like, it's not like you drafted a shitbox player. <laughs> like, you didn't, like... We're not mad. We're just argue, disappointed, Ralph. Right. You could, I, I could argue that this was a Christian slight Hall reach of because of he, <laughs> It's a slight reach because of where he was ranked. And also, we drafted a tackle at 14... And then you trade it up to get another tackle right. with your third Reckless. pick. Like <laughs> they give you a B for this draft? Like no, there's C plus. Other, like the same. Oh, you lied. You movie. lied to me. C plus. Oh, they gave you a C plus for this draft. Wait a minute. A C plus. <laughs> lied. So did you, yeah, he let lied. Me yeah. Let me ask you. Did you pick? Did you only you make? B. Ralph, did you only make those four picks, or did you actually go through the entire draft? No, I just made those four picks. And you wound up, Jesus Christ, what did you uh, do this is, here? This is an abomination. If you're, if you're a serious listener, please do not take this much that seriously. This is, when, this, when, they, when, they, when they trade up for Christian Jones, I will take a victory lap so long and so hard, oh Dave. It will break the time-space continuum. They're going to pick Christian not Jones with the 14th that. pick, guys. That's, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> not that I wouldn't love that. It's, it's it going to be, be a Peyton Turner concept. situation. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have to do this draft if you'd have turned your shit in on time. <laughs> just, so, just so we're yeah. clear. Just so we're clear. Um <laughs> Hey, Dave's lost his mind now. So, you were late like 30 uh, minutes, by the way, Dave. So now we got pick 170 is the only By the way, left. just for everybody so they know, and I understand that Thomas is in a different time zone, so like the timing doesn't work, but I handed I got to work at 10 a.m. this morning, and I it was the first thing I did. I I, I shunned all of my other Didn't real Ralph obligations. send you a message a, a day before? I thought he sent you a message a day before, man. No, he texted me. the Well, he might have, but oh, he come on, the more, the, Ralph. I did. I did get. I could pull it up. No, he oh, might have. He might have. Yeah, I might have. But anyway, but I, I but I, I, would but get I had these. On I had these. I had them. I had all this info to to Thomas at ten thirty a.m. Mm. Central Standard Time. Now, again, I I understand that like that might be midnight, so we might be sleeping. So, yeah. but that was that was eight hours ago. Yeah, my wife just. But I have no idea how long some obscenities the Astros lost on a two run homer in the night to put together oh. these these high quality graphics. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so we got the last pick, 170 of the draft, because we're only doing five rounds this year. Uh, Thomas, put up who's available. Yeah, but we have five. Don't the Saints have f four picks in the fifth, ra in the fifth I, round? I traded them all, Dave. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, so these were... Um, uh, <laughs> you so liar. we got you Kamal you got Hay be on your draft. And you Kamal, Kamal Hayden, <laughs> <laughs> Brennan Jackson, and Maris the Liar. <laughs> Maris Liafu, Liafoa. Um, <laughs> Maris. Of course he goes to Notre Dame. I mean, that's the most Notre Dame name that ever Notre Dame. Maris. <laughs> um, and the, the funny part is, um, I, I think that like a corner makes sense here, Dave, because like if you're going to do it like the Saints do it, DA is like, I love corners. Like the Saints just need to pick a corner just to make DA feel happy. Um Brennan Jackson, defensive end, a Raz, 8.4. Uh, Maris, the linebacker, 5.66 six, six, Raz. I mean, it's fun because I, I feel like Kevin Say and Maris in training camp would, could be, could be uh, a good time. Um, but do you have, tell me why you hate uh, all of these options. Well, the Raz there. on this linebacker is 5.66, six, six, man. I mean... That's bad. Look, out of the three you have right here, <laughs> I, I'd, out of the three you have right here, I'd be taking Kamal Hayden. The Saints are going to need a cornerback. Uh, I think they, it, like, they're 
likely getting or letting Lattimore walk. Yeah. Uh, I would like to have uh, some depth because it's, it's going to be Adebo and Alante Taylor. And then after that, it's uh, Rajon White or Rajon Wright and Fayon Hicks. And uh, yeah, we, we, we need somebody that can compete as a uh, top backup. And so draft a guy. I don't know. This is 170. This, none of this matters, probably. Uh, I'll go with Brennan Jackson, defensive end, just because he's got the highest res. Uh, but, you know, uh, your draft really is, is lacking any, like, exciting skill, offensive skill players. It's really you're kind of boring me here. Dave, we have, Cedric, we have a veteran presence in Cedric Wilson, <laughs> wide receiver. <laughs> We don't need. I we don't need How can I we don't, forget? How can I forget? We don't. We don't need skill positions. Thomas, uh, announce the pick. The final pick. The one hundred seventieth pick in the twenty twenty four NFL Draft. Then you will Saints select Marist Ufau. Linebacker. This draft went off the rails. I'm not gonna lie. Look at I mean, the picture. Like he's on the crutches, like guys. Uh, yeah, he's already injured. Yeah, <laughs> as soon as the stage happened. <laughs> I may have saw that picture and picked him just because of that. Yeah, right. right, right. He, he sent Thomas he's the photo before he even made the pick. He was like, Thomas, I mean, this is the guy I'm going to trap because of this photo. I mean, he's he's got he's got fake. If he was an action. If he was a Saints action figure, he would the, the crutches would come in the in the well, packaging in the box. You know, he started all the games in 2023. He was injured in 2022. Kevin, he gave me really strong fake girlfriend vibes, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I and I wanted them. Um, For the so jokes there. only. The, well, the, the, I mean, that's what I'm. Congratulations, about. Ralph. I hate your draft. It's terrible. <laughs> I My mean, God. we listen. This is I, an abomination. I solved the tackle. Like, if one of the tackles is good, the offensive line is better. This is the rest of them. Uh, like my life is a lot of questionable decisions. My life, my life. Um, but I feel like for joke purposes, we got fake girlfriend jokes. We got I mean, for joke purposes, you could have taken Kool Aid. Yeah, it was. I was. It was. It was. But you screwed that up too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have gone. I should have gone. Fashanu, Kool Aid, Jones, Marist, fake girlfriend. <laughs> Marist. My Dude, friend went to Marist in Budridge, He doesn't have a Raz, but he had crutches. Okay, get off my. A, he doesn't have a Raz my, because because he, it's off the charts. It can't be measured. That's right. You can't. You and broke the scale, whatever <laughs> scale they imagine. use to measure red. You oh, fucking incomplete. broke it. I mean, he has a fake so, girlfriend, though. Kevin and Dave, if you were grading my draft, what would you grade it? F. F. Come on, man. No, uh, no. Like, 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 like. Let's be serious for one second. Pretend you didn't do this draft. Pretend the Saints actually did this draft <laughs> in 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 two weeks or whenever it's happening. Tell me you would you would not be going out of your fucking mind over how terrible this draft is, Ralph. Please. I mean, that's prob- like just based on those four picks, that's probably a C at best. Because again, you traded up to just to, to, to make a slight reach for a tackle. Like like I don't like you traded an asset for oh, next year. Yes, Ryan. Right. Yes. <laughs> that was a Drink slight Ralph. reach. That draft was awful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the oh, wow. 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 How many weeks is that consecutive? Cool that golfer. Becoming Thank you, the new. So Becoming they the new stepped MVP, away for a second, that's... so you got to wait for him. I, I never step away, okay? Weeks. I'm never away. You don't have to mention that I'm away. I am like, I am like, oh, Lord, our God and Savior. I'm omnipresent. Uh, <laughs> I am always, I can always hear you. I'm with, I'm in you. I'm, I'm inside you, Kevin. The fact that y'all don't like my draft makes me like it more. If you come. But I will, I will admit I messed hard. up. I should have taken Kool-Aid. 
It would have been the perfect joke draft, Dan. I messed up. Um, so we got options here. We got root beer 99 proof. I don't even like it doesn't even say like root beer. I think that's going to taste delicious. I think you're going to love that because it's uh, going to be like sweet. And and then we got McGillicuddy. Tell the people the menthol mint is only 24 percent alcohol by. Vice. Oh, wow. So so uh, who's the MVP, Thomas, and who gets to who that golfer? Who that golfer is the MVP? So, I so say that, 99. I say who, root, root beer. Yeah. So what's it going to be? Who that golfer? Root beer. Root beer. Says who that golfer. See, Dave, I think this is going to be like the Long Island iced tea one where it's like they say. No, I think that's going to. No, I think this root beer. Root beer is delicious. It, I think root it's beer be like, is the. Ooh, it I think it's going to be like. Yeah, see, exactly. It's going to be like sweet and caramelly. Oh, it smells good. It smells like yeah, a bark. See, it exactly. smells like a bark. No shit. This is like uh mm, mm. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, you love it. Oh it's no. Smooth and ca- no, I wouldn't say I love it. Two. Oh it's yeah. Smooth. I would like a puke meat, it's like a three. It's yeah, you didn't even make a tasty. face. No. Yeah. Oh man. I mean it it, it was alright. Who gave that to you? Where'd you get that? Uh this was from you have no idea. And it was not Nikolai. It no. was um, Keith. I think this is my my, my boyfriend Keith. Oh, I stole, okay. I stole the traitor! From you. Traitor! Oh, I'm gonna text. I gotta text Keith right now. He needs to get his shit together. So yeah, people are just banging on my bad pick. That Christian Jones has a You chose rag. the wrong one. But if you you have chosen. I oh. chose. Like, here's the thing. Like the one thing I'll say about the root beer, though, Dave. The aftertaste is mm-hmm. off. Burns like gonorrhea from a whore. No, it doesn't burn like gonorrhea, but it's like my draft. <laughs> it's probably like my draft. Like I'm just, it leaves a bad, bad. Yeah, taste. yeah, <laughs> yeah. That 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 makes makes the two of us, buddy. Oh. And it's not no. You ever drink like an? It, uh, uh, Kevin, I'm sorry that we're um, distracting you from, from uh, swiping left and yeah, swiping I'm right. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're, if you if you need to go, you know that's fine. You can leave. That's fine. <laughs> So, <laughs> I like that. Uh, so here's my question. This here's is my qu- boss. Here's here's my question to you, Kevin. Oh, good. Before we move on to trivia and mailbag question, here's my question to you. We're not besides doing a the, after this, are we? A second show, are we? Besides the trade no, down, still- what do you hate most about my draft? You mean the trade up? The trade up. Besides the trade up, what do you hate most about the root beer? Uh, it's kicking in. I mean, again, it's. I mean, it's either a toss up between the line. It's like, what do I hate more? The fact that you took the linebacker there, <laughs> or, or. But again, if I saw the rest of your draft, maybe I wouldn't have hated the linebacker there. Who knows? But, <clears throat> well, then again, you'd have probably made more dubious decisions. Um, Ooh. That root beer is fighting so back, Kevin. I'll 99 root beer is fighting back. <laughs> Continue. Sorry, Kevin. I will stick with the linebacker because I think Christian Jones is uh, Christian Jones is obviously a good player. I just think you reach for him slightly and you trade it up to do so when we already had <laughs> a tackle from, from, uh, from the jump. But I just somehow think that you then go, you know what? No, no, no. That's the worst pick. That's the worst pick. Even though Christian Jones is a good player, I just laid it all out. You <laughs> went, you traded up, and you got rid of an asset for next year to grab a second tackle with, the third, with our third selection. An abomination. <laughs> and, 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 and then you had to wait so goddamn long for your next pick. That, like, yeah, honestly, the linebacker P- pick, yeah, yeah, the linebacker pick was dog plus is probably the worst grade that PFF gives. Like, they probably don't give lower than that just because they don't want to, like, upset oh, anybody. No, uh, no, 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 no. I assure you they do give out Ds. I've seen them. Yeah. But they don't, they don't ever give out Fs. <laughs> is it that good D, so though? C-plus is still, on, on the curve, C-plus is actually worse. Uh, Dude. I'm just, I'm just saying, Thomas. We might need to have a, we might have to need to have a video mailbag. This root beer is making a comeback and tearing my (laughs) stomach up. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, then find us wherever you get your podcast, 
And finally, go to saintshappyhour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.